UN 영어 뉴스 심플 홈메이드 브라블럭스 The subtle flavor and silky texture of Grablocks make it a salmon for the 21st century. Cookbook author June Hershey shares its story. Locks, EDC for salmon, is a ubiquitous Jewish staple. In New York City, often paired with a shimmer of cream cheese on a bagel. The thinly sliced rocks is salty and buttery with a soft hint of smokiness that pairs beautifully with the soft tanginess of the cream cheese. Delicately prepared on top of a bagel and sometimes topped with capers or red onion. It's a wonderfully satisfying breakfast that's hard to beat. But it's not the only way to get your salmon fix in the city. Another popular preparation for salmon is grab lox. Salmon cured in salt and sugar, which author June Hershey features in her latest book, Iconic New York Jewish Food, a history and guide with recipes. Jump to recipe. A born and bred New Yorker, Hershey dedicates her new book to her mother, whom she calls a Bronx girl through and through. She was truly a New Yorker and grew up in an area of the South Bronx that was home to a lot of Jewish immigrants. Her parents being two of them, one from Poland and one from Russia. Hershey explained, I think that imbued her with a sense of being grateful and appreciative of everything she ever had in life. Part of that gratitude was placed on food, something Hershey believes a lot of Jewish immigrant families had in common. They knew what it was like to go without and to not have everything so plentiful. She said, I think that that informed a lot of the decisions she made throughout her life and certainly throughout my childhood. How she has fond memories of eating pickled tongue with a baked potato and cream spinach on a typical Wednesday evening, finding a kind of a Sephardic a Greek las lasagna made with mat matzo and a spicy tomato sauce on the table at Passover and Franks and beans made from kosher hot dogs that were fat and juicy. Her Russian-born grandmother made chopped liver, stuffed cabbage and apple cake and there was the mandatory bowl of matzo bowl soup on every holiday table with del deliciously dense matzo balls. My home was filled with those Jewish specialties, said Hershey. I think you develop a taste for them, and once they grab hold, those are hard to let go of. The appetizing store, specializing in fish and dairy, is one of the many homes for Jewish flavors. Hershey explained that the term appetizing never existed until Jewish immigrants came to New York City in the late 19th 
and early 20th centuries. It really developed from the concept of a EDC world for she pace, which were the little starters that you would eat at dinner, she said. They had to be pickled and smoked fish and things like that. In the early 1900s, advertising turned from an adjective to a noun and from a concept to brick and mortar stores. Rocks, a derivative from the Norwegian word for salmon, locks, was front and center at the advertising store, also called belly locks as it's from the valley of the fish. It was what Hershey ate as a child. It's delicious, but unbelievably salty, she said, because of the amount of salt used to cure the fish. However, Jewish communities of Poland prior to World War II brought the tradition of smokehouses to New York City. They would take that salty, cured salmon, belly rocks, and smoke it. This Hershey explained was dubbed Nova, so named because the fish came from the waters of Nova Scotia. Scotia. That's what we eat today, she said. Most people, when they go into an appetizing store and they say, I'd like some rocks. They mean they want Nova. But in her latest book, Hershey turns our attention to a grab locks, a Scandinavia style of cured salmon with roots in the history of New York City that stretch just as deep as rocks. The grab locks pretty much connects us back to that original product that was it in New York in the early 1900s, said Hershey, who first came across it around the 1970s, when Norwegian influences became more popular in New York. What the Norwegians do is make a combination of salt and sugar, and they cure the rocks with that combination. Hershey explained that some appetizing stores offered it as a way to modernize and add a bit of elegance to a food considered to be more old world Jewish. It became an updated way to enjoy salmon, a nod to the past with a more modern and refined flavor, said Hershey. The subtle flavor and silky texture of grab locks make it a salmon for the 21st century. Hershey favors putting a bit of vodka on her grab locks to add a nuanced flavor and to help the salt and sugar dissolve. Then she layers it with herbs. You can infuse it with any flavor you want, she said. I usually use dill or a combination of dill and basil and then sandwich the two pieces of salmon, let it sit and cure. The end result is homemade grab a different animal from the novel at appetizing stores today because it hasn't been smoked. And unlike the locks you might order at a bagel shop, you wouldn't smother this with a layer of cream cheese. Rather, grab locks sits gracefully on top of a blini, a kind of Eastern European pancake, or lakke, lakke, potato pancake used as a garnish with a little creme fri fried, fried or sour cream.
Hoshi recommends slicing grab locks at a 45 degree angle. Homemade grab locks recipe by Jun Hoshi yields 900 gram, 2 pound of grab locks. Ingredients 2 450 gram, 1 pound pieces of Atlantic salmon, belly portion preferable. 2 tablespoon chilled vodka, a quarter cup kosher salt, a quarter cup granulated sugar, freshly cracked black pepper, one bunch fresh dill, one bunch fresh basil. Method Step 1 Have your fishmonger cut two pieces of salmon that match up so that you can lay one on top of the other. Step 2. Cover a portion of your counter with enough plastic wrap to lay the salmon pieces down and then wrap them up. Place the salmon side by side, the salmon side by side, skin side down on the wrap. Step 3. Drizzle each piece with one tablespoon of chilled vodka. Mix the salt and sugar and sprinkle both the pieces with the mixture. Season with a freshly cracked black pepper. Lay enough dill and basil to cover the entire surface of both pieces. Using the plastic wrap as an aid. Lay one piece of salmon over the other and tightly wrap the salmon pieces so the meaty sides firmly adhere to each other. Take another piece of wrap and continue to seal the packaging. Step 4. Place the packaging in a shallow dish and lay a plate or small pan on top of the salmon. Place several cans or a heavy item on top of the pan or plate to weigh down and press the fish. Place the dish in the fridge, turning the salmon over every 12 hours for 2 to 3 days. The longer the cure, the drier the finished fish and the more intense the flavor. Step 5. Remove the salmon from the fridge. Discard all the old herbs and lightly rinse. Tap dry using a very sharp long knife. Begin slicing the salmon at a 45 degree angle. Being sure to not cut through the skin since you don't want skin on the slices. Serve the sliced grab locks on top of a blini or latke, a dollop of creme fried fryke, sour cream or jat, jatziki adds a nice touch, especially when spiked with grated cucumber or dill. The salmon will hold for up to 5 days, tightly wrapped in your fridge, but I bet it will be gobbled up long before that.